most of you guys are aware of this, but Brendan was and sorry, Fire and the Kids, um what are you guys saying here? Fire and the Kid um have changed up their studio, as you can see here over the picture. Right? The studio has changed up the look. Um clearly because they were on that other pod in Austin. They like the setup, so they decided just to copy it essentially, which is very shameless, but it does look better. Let's be fair to them. The camera angle is a bit weird and shit, but it does look quite nice. I think they've it's it's good to get inspired by other people, so they clearly got inspired. But this episode with Will Compton and Tyler Lewin from um Bussing with the Bros is legitimately an insane interesting show to watch if you're a fan of the fire and the kid and you're a fan of just kind of watching these things and laughing at brendan it's specifically brendan because in this episode brendan feels so i won't say out of his depth but he's trying so hard to impress these guys it's kind of pathetic it kind of makes you feel bad for him how much he's trying to kind of get them to like him by saying certain things or talking about certain things in certain ways but you can tell especially this guy isn't that convinced i think this dude here he spoke about how he's a fan sorry this dude here i don't know i don't know which which is which i guess this this is will i'm assuming this is will that's taylor but if this is will he's already said he's actually a fire and the kids fan he's been a fan since they're on fox he used to follow them back in the day so he's actually a fan he actually maybe is a bit more indifferent doesn't mind them this taylor guy i feel like is a little bit more like Okay, this Brendan guy is a little bit. I understand people don't like the guy. He can maybe he doesn't think too much deep to it, but I think Taylor doesn't. He's not really the biggest fan, so it's kind of funny because I think Brendan senses that he can tell that Taylor doesn't like him, so he tries to super hard to make Taylor like him, right? <laughs> but it doesn't go the way he wants it. So I've got a couple of clips to play here, right? Um, number one clip to play, which is fucking hilarious, is Brendan talking about this deal that he has with. Aaron Rodgers. Now, I'm gonna play a clip also of like um I think what's his face? I think Dicey Dicey did a video compilation of Brendan Schaub's lies. So big up him because I think I was mentioning it before about the lies and I wanted to have a video on it, but I'm too lazy. I can't do that sort of shit. So big up Dicey Dicey for doing it. Um and we're just gonna react off of his shit off of his shit. But he did a video about the lies of Brendan, and I'm not too sure where I stand on it. I want to know what you guys think in the chat. Where do you guys stand on this lie that Brendan's talking about where he says he went to meet Aubrey Marcus in Detroit or Denver or something at some convention and um, Aubrey Marcus, who's uh, one half of On It, and him had a chat and now... No, so Aubrey, Aubrey, sorry, let me remind this. Aubrey Marcus, um, who also co-owns, I think, On It, is friends with Brendan. Brendan goes to Denver to go meet Aubrey and Aubrey brings along with him Aaron Rodgers, right? Um, World-renowned fucking NFL quarterback guy, right? Um, whatever it may be. Uh, I don't know what team, don't ask me. I'm fucking English. I don't know these things, but I know Aaron Rodgers is. And allegedly, Brendan says that Aaron Rodgers is interested in investing in thick boy Tiger Whiskey shit, whatever, it, whatever it's fucking called. Tiger, thick boy whiskey, whatever the fucking thing is called. I personally think that's a lie. Only because I think most likely it seems like what's the scenario is that maybe in like the beverage or liquor industry, if somebody has a brand that's dead, you can maybe buy it off them and then maybe just white label or like rebrand it. I think that's a thing. That's just my assumption. But Brenda's making it seem like they're in business, like he's going to help to invest and relaunch the thing and they're going to be in it together. I just think Aaron Rodgers may be looking to go into the liquor business. He heard Brendan's trying to you know like let go of that shit and get rid of the stock he might give him the money to get rid of the stock and then rebrand it with his own shit that's my opinion i don't think they're in business together but there's the other side of people on the final kid reddit specifically who say it didn't happen brendan doesn't know aaron rogers and he just lied about it completely so i want you guys to tell me in this chat what do you guys think where do you stand do you think brendan knows who aaron do you think Bre aaron rogers knows who brendan is or do you think it's all one big lie Let's play the clip and then you can tell me in the chat what you guys think. Oh, yeah. I mean, one like of the I best. sat across from him and I, Joe, I don't know, who's that? Joe, Joe Montana. Montana. Yeah. And I remember looking at him going, I was like, boy, he looks like a, he doesn't look like, he looks like a regular guy now. I mean, he's, he's, you know, I was just like one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. And I had a, uh, I mean, the like, announce, okay, I'm, 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 Aaron Rodgers, my business partner, I flew to Denver to meet him. And the way we're introduced, they go, uh, Aaron, meet the most hated man on the internet. Brendan, meet the most hated man in the NFL. 
That's how we met. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah, good. Yeah, smile. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, bro. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> is, Aaron, is Aaron like a hated man in the NFL, though? Uh, yeah, he just like uh, he was like anti for you know, being that Maxine. Good. Yeah, he, yeah. He was like anti vaccine. He, he can afford to speak on it. Yeah, yeah. And he like when he you're would, that would, good, yeah. you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Whatever. He's, the, Aaron, man. I, He's I, the man. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? What are you guys saying in the stream chat here? Personally, I think a lot of the suspect things is that story. Why is it every time Brendan meets a famous person, there's always like. There's always this like weird parrot. Is it, is it parity the right word? There's always this weird kind of like mutual appreciation of, of the people. No matter how famous a person is, for some reason, if you were to meet, if Michael Jackson was still alive and you met him, he'd say Michael Jackson told me he was a fan. There's never a, uh, there's never an occasion where Brendan tells a story about meeting somebody famous where he is the less famous person. It's always like oh, and you know he says a big fan. Like there's always a kind of we're equals. So in this regard, in a story he shared, it kind of sounded like the person was trying to make it sound like because they're both hated on the internet, it kind of means that they're both like of the same level of hate. It's just bizarre anyway, because, you know, Aaron Rodgers might be hated because of his opinions on the vaccine and other things that he said, but he's still one of the best ever in his fucking position, right? In sports, at whatever, right? He's still one of the best ever. So that can never get taken away from him. Brendan has never been the best at anything, right? Anything that he's ever done. And on top of that, he thinks he's the best. And on top of that, he's got way more, you know, unlikable traits about him. So that's where it kind of, my alarm bells start to ring. Why is it every time you meet someone famous, you're always like as famous as them? Like, you understand what I mean? Like, it just feels a bit weird. What are you guys saying in the chat? Um, uh, Aaron Rodgers is up inside hot chicks lows nobody's trying to make money off of Bapa's name is that, is that cool yep I agree with that one Yosha, this sounds so fake and cringe as I said um, him and Aaron Rodgers just two peas in the pod just a couple murderers in comedy and sports <laughs> yeah exactly Gable just says white boy who works exactly two white boys who work too much uh, Mark um, um, Mako says clearly Aaron Rodgers is a right hand man or no Mako, Aaron Rodgers is on his board. That's what he's on. Aaron Rodgers is on his board. Rob Deirdrick and Aaron Rodgers are lending up, you know, are on the thick boy board. Um, MKRCVIOJ says, Think Papa spoke to some investors to unload his thick boy business. But Aaron Rodgers is too smart to associate with Big Brown. No, I don't think he is. I don't think the in business, let's be fair though, in business, I don't think it's. There's no such thing as like somebody being too toxic to do business with if you can make some money. I think money is the, the, the great equalizer when it comes to business. So if there is an option where you can kind of, you know, get a head start, like I think it's, I'm looking again, I don't, I've done a research this, but I'm thinking of the liquor business and buying somebody's brand, similar to what people do on YouTube when they buy channels. Because on YouTube, there's like sites like FameSwap where you can buy somebody's channel that they don't use anymore or that's defunct and you can basically just rebrand it as your own and you can kind of start with already 100,000 followers whatever you want to do, right? People do that all the time. So if you want to kind of get into that, you can maybe, if you want to get into YouTube, maybe you do it that way and you kind of just buy someone's channel. So I'm assuming in the liquor business, because it's so cutthroat and so hard to get into and so hard to make it, some people might try to do it. It doesn't work out. And you could maybe just buy the business off of them and then rebrand it. That should be a thing, I'm sure. Maybe it's not all the way legal, but I'm sure that's something people do. So it wouldn't surprise me if people saw Brendan's thing that he did on his own, you know, kind of a bit fucked up, but he did it. And they would see it as an opportunity to maybe do their own thing. That's possible. 